Okay, what's up, JB Nate V? It is your Captain Jasmine Black, and I'm back with another video. And we're gonna have ourselves a little, you know, get cozy on the couch. Got us a little mukbang going, you know, got me a little, these uh, chow mein noodles I've been addicted to lately. Oh my gosh, and I got me some um, sweet chili sauce and some spring rolls. I'm gonna tell you guys where y'all can get these from later on okay let me get set up here all right y'all so look you know it's, this is a video i've been wanting to do for a while so i'm kind of happy that the subject came up in the way that it came up so tommy oh my god this sh is hot so tommy from love and hip-hop recently been arrested for slamming her daughter head in a locker dragging her by her hair hitting her with her purse strap and all types of craziness and I'm very upset and disappointed by this and um like I said this is already a topic I already want to talk off, talk on so I'm I'm excited I'm happy that this situation happened okay so you know black mothers and black daughters like their relationship and I like to talk on subjects that people don't like to talk about I like to express my opinion that's the whole purpose of me starting a YouTube channel was to be able to express my opinion out loud so when I was growing up, right, me and my mom did not have a good relationship. Like, we didn't. And I felt like my mom was extra violent with me. I feel like she was more had more short of a temper with me than any of the other kids. And um, that's how I felt. I felt like she used to just explode on me. And, oh, this is what? I had the chicken, but this is the beef. These are good. Um, I used to feel like she was just crazy with me. And, um, you know, and I think that her mother was like that with her. And then my grandmother's mother was like that with her. And this is something that needs to be stopped. It's getting sick. It's sickening. Uh, like, the message that I want to get out to black mothers about their black daughters is, your daughter is not your enemy, nor your competition. That is your baby. That is somebody that you brought into this world. Like, and, and I just hate how relationships are with black mothers and their daughters versus black mothers and their sons. I read a quote a while ago that said, you will kick your daughter out for whatever reason. Kick her out, get mad at her, tell her she got to leave since so she's grown and all that stuff. But you will let your grown ass son sit on the couch, make babies with different females, don't get a job. Live in your basement. Use your car. Wreck your car. Like, smoke your cigarettes. Steal money from you. Steal stuff out the house. Y'all will cradle them. Nurture them. Talk about how they didn't have a father growing up. Make all these excuses for them. But let your daughter do something. You ready to slam her head into a locker? Mm-hmm. I just think that I don't know where... Things went wrong in history or in time with black mothers and their daughters. And um, I see um, Tokyo Vanity also from Love and Hip Hop. I posted, um, y'all act like y'all never got a beating from y'all mom before. That is not normal. She slammed that girl head into a locker, dragged her by her hair down the hallway. That is not normal. That is treating her like she's a bitch off the street. That is not normal. Like, you don't do that to your child. You don't do that. I would never, I can't never in my life see me doing that to my son. I can't never ever in my life see me doing that if I had a daughter, period. You fighting that girl like she, like she, like she done slept with your baby daddy. Growing up, my mom's not a bad person. So I just like to be real with y'all about how I feel about growing up. Like growing up, I felt like my mom was in competition with me. I felt like she felt some type of way about me. I felt like, I felt like a bitch off the street. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If the first thing you want to do is raise your hand up at your daughter every single time there's an issue arises, that's wrong. It's something wrong. You can't do that. That's not how you raise a queen. That's not how you teach her to be better. That's not how you teach her a lesson. Mm -mm. I just remember like my mom jumping on me and just feeling rage and sometimes even hatred towards her like a strong dislike because while she was jumping on me and acting crazy 
All I needed was somebody to sit down and talk to me. All I needed was her to say, what's going on with you? Why are you quote unquote acting out? Or why did you do this? Or what's going on at school? You know, instead of like, how do you get mad at somebody for their actions and don't find out what caused it? Everything is cause and effect. These kids aren't running around here terrorizing for the fuck of it. There's something going on. And if you're not taking the time to find out, and your first reaction is to jump on them, it's going to make it worse. And I understand the parents that just got some fast-ass daughters. Because I grew up with some of them. My cousins was fast. They was fast as hell. But you can't beat them. You can't beat them to death. Only thing you can do is, is take away privileges. You got to hurt them. You got to hit them with a hurt. Take that cell phone. Take away them privileges. They not allowed to go nowhere. Have grandma set the house to make sure they don't go nowhere. That type of stuff. Defending Tommy because this is they think it's normal. Because And then I seen a girl also post like, oh, my mom used to fight me. Like, she ain't know me. That's not normal. That's not cool. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I'm just really shocked on the mentality that it's okay for your mother to jump on you and beat you like a lady off the street. And y'all think that's just a part of black culture. No, it's not. It's abuse. And it's wrong. And it needs to be stopped. Now, do somebody deserve punishment? Yes, somebody deserve punishment. But do somebody deserve to be punched in the face, dragged by their hair, embarrassed in front of their school? And y'all wonder why these kids committing suicide. Y'all wonder why. At the end of the day, what the Tommy situation is, I look at it like this. Tommy, you, she does not seem to be the best, 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 best um, example. Like, for her daughters, I mean, she, I mean... I can't say nothing. I'm a dancer and I have a son. Just imagine if I had a daughter. Somebody would say that about me. But just judging how temperamentic she is, judging by the relationship that she had with her own mother, which we've seen on TV, I know we can't trust that, but she seems very passionate about it. Um, it don't look like she had the best relationship with her own mother. So, of course, she's going to treat her daughters this way. But it's up to us to break the cycle. When you become a parent, I think, like, it's up to you to break the cycle and not do things that you did not like done to you when you were a child. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just believe in reversing things in black families. I re believe in reversing the psychological issues, the emotional issues. I'm just a big person on when you know something is wrong, fix it. We all know there's a lot of things wrong in our culture. Let's fix them. I would not be a parent that had things done to me when I was younger that I didn't like and then repeat them. I always tell people there's two types of people in this, in this world. There's repeaters and then there's changers, okay? You got, like, okay, bullies, for example. You got people who get bullied and then they bully. Or you got people who get bullied and they become, like, an advocate for bullies, like, for victims of bullies. You know what I'm saying? So, and I'm a changer. I'm that person. I'm going to change, like, what I did not like. I wonder how this would taste in here. Let me try this sweet. Chili sauce. That's good. Okay. Got me some sweet chili sauce for my spring rolls. Vegetarian spring rolls. Mm. Whatever I didn't like growing up, I promise I was not going to repeat it with my son. I catch myself even an ounce, like, in the midst of doing something, like, let's say, ignoring him because I'm on my phone. Like, anytime I catch myself doing that, I snap right out of it. Like, oh, shoot, you wouldn't have liked that. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. We're not, like, we are raising, I just feel like in the black culture, we are raising kings and queens. We are raising the future. If we want to change the dynamic of our culture, if we want to change the dynamic of us, it starts with our kids and it starts with ourselves. We cannot pass on 
the self-destruction that's been passed on to us. And I think Tommy dragging her daughter in the hallway of her school does not set a good tone. It's not going to do nothing but make her daughter angry. When she go to school, she's going to have to face those kids. And kids are not nice nowadays. Kids are mean. People, they are going to taunt her about this for a while. She's going to have to hear about this. Every time she gets into an argument, this is what somebody's going to bring up. Don't make me call your mom. And she slammed your head in that locker again. <laughs> People going to bring this up all the time. Now she got to deal with that. So when they make up at home and everything's straight at home, she still got to relive this at school. Embarrassing your kids in public is not okay. Y'all got to tell me how y'all feel. There's something very strange about relationships with black mothers and their daughters. When I was, I used to see a girl and her mother and they were like, they acted like best friends. And I used to be so jealous of that. Cause I was like, me and my mom don't act like that. They used to go, go get their nails done with each other. Her mom pipe her up like, yeah, my baby cute. Oh, look at her. And she would do the same thing for her mom. Me and my mom wasn't like that. So it's just something. I don't know what to call it. I don't know what to say. It needs to be fixed. It definitely needs to be fixed. Once again, to my black mothers out there, your daughter is not your enemy. That is your baby. She's not your competition. She is not your rival. If you can't discipline your kids by talking to them and trying to lead them in the right direction, then there's nothing you can do. Slamming them to a locker, being verbally abusive, physically abusive. You know, like I said, I'm down with kids being disciplined. But I'm not down with, I'm not down with like beating them up. That's crazy. That's insane. That's insane. That's insane. It ain't that serious. If she getting caught with boys, hey, that's a part of life. You can't control that girl hormones. Only thing you could do is teach her how to conduct herself like a woman and like a lady and to be safe out here. Beating her to death is not going to stop her from seeing boys. And I think a lot of times these mothers forget that they were that age once upon a time. You become a parent and then you go into straight parent mode. You forget what it was like to be 16. You forget what it was like to be 14. You forget about all of that. Beating your, if you tried everything in the book, I don't know what makes you think beating your kids half to death is going to help them. It's not. I think the, the I think like with me, the most severe thing that I can do only time I think it's okay to go ahead and fuck your kids up is they try to put their hands on you. That's that's it. Like, but like, I can't see myself hovering over my daughter because she says something smart or whatever. I could see my like I understand getting buck on them a little bit, but I can't see myself shoving somebody through a wall because they said something smart or something like that. Like, come on, it's not. I think the worst thing you could do to a kid is take away things that holds a lot of value to them. And that's what I do. I ain't got no time for no talking. I'm taking cell phones. I'm taking tablets. I'm taking away privileges. That hurts them more than sitting here trying to beat them up. I don't know. Y'all give me y'all opinion. I'm trying to see. I'm trying to see if I said everything that I wanted to say. I talked about how this is like a passed down thing from generation to generation. From great grandmother to grandmother to daughter. I talked about how y'all let these boys get away with murder, but y'all stay wanting to jump on y'all daughters. Hmm. And I talked about how this shouldn't be the final answer. Beating your daughter half to death. So I think I talked about everything. I just wanted to do a quick little um, mukbang. Oh, I put that sweet chili sauce in here. I wonder what this tastes like. Let me see. It's like real Chinese food over here. But, so let me tell y'all where I got this stuff from. This is the little chow mein noodles. Ooh, from Dollar Tree. And these are some spring rolls. Guess what, y'all? From Dollar Tree. Like, Dollar Tree got a lot of stuff going on that I would never eat. Like, they got chicken in there. They got bacon. They got all types of stuff. I'm not eating that stuff for a dollar. This is spring roll. This ain't got no meat in it. This is all vegetables. So, I'll eat that. But they got chicken breast in there, all that for a dollar. Mm-mm. 
You ain't gonna kill me. Eating meat from Dollar Tree. Mm. Y'all leave y'all comments below. And y'all give me y'all opinions and stuff. Okay, I got some homework for you guys. Like this video, meaning thumbs up. Share this video on any social media that you can. And um, subscribe. Okay? So that is your homework for tonight. Until next time, JB Navy, I'm out.